Hurry, get him! Send him up! You darn it! Oh! Yeah! Another 20. Nice. <laughs> Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota. With your hosts, Leo Stakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation, powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Canada. Your venture starts here. Ram, designed by experts, trusted by drivers. There we go. There we go, buddy. Nice fish, too. Nice pike. There you go, bud. First point of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. What do you got? I think it's a pike, guys. Either that or it's a big walleye. One or the other. But I'm pretty sure it's a pike the way he hit it and the way he's running. All right, I got the net out. Oh, he's a nice pike, bud. Oh, he's a muskie. Look at that. We don't have the net for that. Yeah, we do not have the net for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. All right, Ronnie, I'm going to bring him over to you. I got, a, I, I got a light leader. All right, look at that. This guy is not happy. Right in, that, right in the head there, Ron. Oh, there you go. Get it in that net, Ron. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm trying. It's a thick one. Oh, yeah. He was right off that point. He's still on there. Good leader. First fish of the day, boys. We start off with a muskie. What do you think of that? Somebody, maybe this guy with the thumb, forgot the muskie net on the dock. Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stakos. I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. And we are at beautiful Paradise Cove here in the west arm of Nipissing here. Can we get a picture of this guy? What do you think? For sure. Good. Okay, get this guy back in the water. Ooh. Oh, I guess that's the end of that. Look that's at him. a good he's right way there. to go. Look at him. He's right there. He's going now. There he goes. Look at the fin. There we go. Fish on. Good one, whatever it is. I was going to say, if that's a walleye, it's a giant. Well, it was a good fish on the Glasgow. So let's see what he is. So, like, that's a big fish. Like, what is that? <laughs> it's, no, a it's a good walleye. It's a good, good walleye. walleye, dude. Oh, and you spotted that fish? Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. 40 feet of water, guys. And Jeff spotted that on the live scope. Wow, look at that. That's a healthy one. That is nice. <laughs> that felt good, man. What, what was he, what's he doing 40 feet of water? He's eating, uh, eating our jigs is what he's doing. <laughs> My wow. I never expected that. Frank <laughs> oh, oh, nice one too. There you go. <laughs> You're on that crankbait, eh? That's two casts in the road, Jeff. He's uh, digging in for a little guy, eh? <laughs> yeah, he's fighting good. Yeah, a lot of fun. What's that, three casts with a jabba jaw? <laughs> two casts in a row. You mean that? There we go. Oh, I got a nice one too, bud. <laughs> nice. Double header. He just came up and, and whacked it, bud. Grass here. Nice. Look at this. Both good sized fish. <laughs> nice. You got him on the top of the head. Well, he just came up and swiped at it. Oh, he's off. That's what I said, you got him on one hook. Yeah, he just came up and swiped at it. Little guy here. Are you always still with on, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Got release drawers already. Let him go. Ron's got one too. Yep. Nice, bud. Come on, one. Whoa, big fight though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Little guy just ripping it. I thought it was like a four pounder. You got this on anchor mode just for really? a few minutes or? Yeah, they seem to be out on this plot right now feeding. We got them going. We got them going. Triple header. Wow. There's another one. <laughs> I got a walleye, guys. No way. I got a walleye. Yeah. Look at this. Mammoth, walleye. We got everything here at Paradise Cove. Now that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, that's a nice mixture of fish here in this, on this little flat. We're literally fishing like three feet of water, guys. That's a perfect eater right there. If we were going to have walleye tonight, that's the one I'd be keeping. 
Go ahead and back in. We're fishing like these little rock islands in, in three to five feet of water. Jeff's getting them on a crankbait. I'm getting them on a twitch bait. Ron's getting them on a twitch bait. There we go. Oh, that's a triple header. <laughs> He's all over it. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, yeah. Right on, baby. against the rock. Yeah. Oh, you uh, he hit that thing hard. All right, Jeffy, let's get that fish. I don't think I'm going to get this other one. I don't think he's there. Oh, he's off. He, he just splashed right there, buddy. Yeah, he saw. just splashed. No jump, no jumping, no jumping. You ready? In the boat you go. Nice fish. There were two of them that came up there. That's why this fish hit so aggressively. Jeff was on there right away with his Ned rig. That's a beautiful smallmouth bass. Dark colors. And I'm landing them, Ron. Just keep chomping there, fella. Just keep chomping. Yeah, I, I'm going to keep my confidence up, buddy. <laughs> Atta boy. See you later. It's now time for the Garmin Force Tip of the Week. Hey guys, Leo Stocko here with your Tip of the Week. I have to tell you, Ron, Jeff, and I, we spend well over 200 days a year on the road. And you know what, we go through some bad weather, some good weather, and some torrential rainfall. And that's why when we're driving so long, we always make sure that we can see through that windshield. We always grab ourselves a pair of Trico Force. The rain comes down, this thing just clears and sweeps it right off the windshield. So the next time you're driving around and you can't see, I want you to think about Trico Force because that's really going to help you out. Oh, nice fish too, dude. Yep. All right. Yeah. Molly too. Oh, oh look at that. Gonzo. <laughs> Molly. Oh, nice. I got him. Come I on. I dropped my spinnerbait. <laughs> I did. I just dropped my spinnerbait. I got him. <laughs> he goes, he's right there. He's right there. I just clicked the bail. I dropped my spinnerbait. The thing crushed it. <laughs> That's funny. That was cool. <laughs> it was right there. Well, I saw him sitting there still after he came off the bait. Well, I seen him swim, and then I just clicked my bail on the spinnerbait, dropped it, and smashed it. That was funny. Uh-huh. There you go. Oh, he came right through. Hey, what is that? It's a big bass. Nice fish. Bro. Yeah, it's a big It's a giant bite. Good one. Oh, <laughs> good one. Nice one. <laughs> he came flying right towards you. That's what I want right there. Paradise Cove. You can catch walleye, smallmouth, but these are my favorite junk <laughs> fishing right here. He was all over it. Just dunk. Ah, look at that fish. Oh yeah. Nice. You see how fast he came towards you, Ron? He, he, I couldn't catch up to him. Nice quality fish though. Right on, baby. <laughs> Oh, you did too. Here again. I, I called him. That's a good one too, Duke. It's a good one, <laughs> bud. Cow. <laughs> I did. There's that log right there. It's like I barely got him. Get in here. <laughs> That's, That's nice what you're talking about right there. Beautiful. <laughs> you know, we've been here a few times in this area. That log's always been there. And it always holds a decent fish just like that. <laughs> that was kind of cool, wasn't it? You think? There's that log right there. Nice fish. Paradise cold largies. It's funny that you said, oh, there's that log. Let's throw it in there. There you go. Go back to that log. I'll see you again next time. What a beauty fish. Boof. I caught a fish off that log before. So that goes to show you that fish use the same log, <laughs> especially here in Paradise Cove. On the rock, bud. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh. Like right on that rock. Nice. Nice dark one, nice too. Man. Look at that. That's what it comes to Paradise Cove for right there. Uh, I mean, that fish back was out of the water, guys. <laughs> and look, ate that Terminator. Ate it. Paradise Cove is in the west end of Nipissing. And it is a beautiful spot to be. There's all kinds of nice fish here. Large mouth, small mouth, big musky, walleye. We've been here before catching walleye. First time at Paradise, so beautiful cottage. Cottage is gorgeous. Nice spot he's got there. What, he's got four cottages? Three cottages. Three, and that's it, eh? That's why they call it Paradise. It is Paradise, it's beautiful. 
I'll tell you. You want to come here and relax and take it easy a little bit? You got three cottages. What? Our cottage has got a pool table in it. And a hot tub by the dock. It's a thing of beauty. I love it. And I don't mind the fishing either. There you go, buddy. There you go. One. Nice. He came up and was was all over it when it hit the water. That's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, nice. And the reason why they call it Paradise Cove, because it's paradise. On a froggy. Yep. There you go right there, buddy. Threw that in there, all over it. So, you know, one thing we found, whether it's smallmouth or largemouth, when you get to the spot, if they're there, they're there, and they, and they eat. Reagan uh, from Paradise Cove said, uh, you know what, there's some smallmouth in shallow water. We believe him because every spot he's taken us to, there's been fish, so we're going to keep it going. You guys can't keep them on. That one just came in the boat, bud. Yeah, that was the only one all day. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> nice. Look at that nice job, bud. Look at that nice job. Nice job. Oh. That job. Yeah. See? Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. Smallmouth, right there. Ah. Oh, there we go. oh, he's a fatty too. Yeah. Get your hands on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting swung in the boat. Is he? Oh yeah, he is. Right up on that bank, eh? You can't even get him closer to the bank. Gonna jump. Oh. oh, ate it. What are you doing? <laughs> Standing on the trolling motor. <laughs> He's trying to make you lose it. <laughs> nice guy. Hey, look at Oh, oh. He's in the trolling water. Got him, water, got him. So I lose my fish. Get your hands on it. <laughs> now get my hands on it, all right? Oh, boy. Nice fish. Coming in the boat to this guy. Oh, there you go. Local 110. Look at that beautiful fish. Yep. I love the way they glisten in the look sun. The color. Look at the bars on it, eh? Well, he was love right up that. tight in the dark water, right? So love it. This one was not getting off, but Jeff was determined to get it off. He jumped in the trolling motor. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, why are these fish going that way? <laughs> Fights hard. <laughs> Good fish, dude. There you go. I'll tell you, we got the opportunity, very fortunate opportunity to fish all over the world, but Ontario has got probably the best resorts, the best fishing that I've ever fished in my life. And it's, you know, everything's right in your backyard if you live in Ontario. And if you don't, you better get here because there's no fishing pressure at all. Another one. Oh, nice uh, one. Smallmouth. There you go. Smallmouth. Beauty. On the jerky. Yep. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'll get it, Jeff. <laughs> clean up. Clean up guy, I'll get it. <laughs> Bring him over here, Leo. All right, brother. I got one. All right, double. Oh, 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 nice one. Put us on anchor mode there, fella. Hey, 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 come on. All right. There you go. Nice. You can net his. Right a good there. fish, too. You can net his, I know. Yeah, never mind, bring it back. Clean up, guys, here. <laughs> See, the guy in the back of the boat is pretty important Whoa, sometimes. Oh, we got to have a net. Man. That's a nice one, too. He's gone under. <laughs> <laughs> he just crushed that Largo tab. Nice. Look at that nice nut job, bud. Look at that nut job. Yeah, See? There you go. Clean up guys right in the game. Look at that. Yeah, Those are nice fish right there. Yeah. So sure. two fish off that one point there. You say the fishing's not good in Ontario? <laughs> Check this out. Absolutely. Look at that. That's beautiful, man. Woo! Let's see if I can get one. Let's nice. see if we can get one. Let's get this guy back in first. There you go. And mine. There's Jeffrey. Sweet. Good job, nice brother. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry about this. Uh, sorry. Don't forget about our, the guy in the back, dude. Our designated uh, netter there. <laughs> yeah. All high fives, eh? Thanks, Please, Nick. Uh... High fives around on the front deck. It's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. When you come to Paradise Cove, you want to bring these baits. We caught a lot of fish right here on this Terminator spinnerbait. This worked really well when you're casting around those rocks and those, those uh, edges and stuff like that. You want to throw it on a seven foot one medium heavy action omen rod, company with 30 pound suffix, 832 braid, and a nice good bait casting reel. 
We caught a lot of fish on 13 fishing hard baits, both crank baits and jerk baits. This one here has been a winner for sure. The local special 110. There's a deep version and a shallow fishing, and we were throwing those on the Fate V3 spinning rods. This one's a six foot seven medium fast action. That has been a deadly bait all year. No matter the species. But I'll tell you, the deadly bait of my whole life <laughs> is this right here, a flipping jig. When you want to go down for those bass and those largemouth in that heavy cover, you want this Terminator flipping jig, put a trailer on it, use a seven foot, seven and a half foot heavy action rod. You get those fish out of there. You bring this stuff up to Paradise Cove, you're gonna catch, catch them. them. Just like we did. Exactly. Let's get back to that fish TV action. There's a good one. Jeffrey on the cranker. The scamp. The scamp. 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 The 13 scamp. I don't know if I like that. Are you swearing at me? <laughs> Good for this kind of scenario. Right through the weeds. Yeah. That's a nice little crankbait, eh? That's one thing I don't throw enough of. I used to throw them all the time. Well, it's something I kind of said this year to myself. I'm going to fish more cranks. Yeah. And I have been. And you've been catching and fish. I've been catching fish on them. Yes, sir. Nice one, dude. Oh, you did it in Simcoe as well. Not a boy. I kind of remember a six pounder of Simcoe you caught on the crankbait. It's just a nice. Little short, clear, metal. Chubber. Loud rattle. Looks like a little Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a great little bait. Or that. Mama. Oh my gosh. Good one too. Oh, he has oh. it on. I, I, I thought he was coming out to your big run. There we go. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, Nice fish. You want the net, bud? Yeah, no, we don't need a net. You there. know what the funny thing is? I threw there, Jeff threw there. You threw right behind us and got them. Boy, oh boy, they get a lot bigger than that. But I'll tell you right now, they're a lot of fun, no matter what size they are. And when they hit a spinner bait, they want it. Right in those weeds. Just on that little rock there. Oh, it wasn't in the weeds? No, it was right in the cut, right on the bank. Right on the bank. Small one, but hey, you know what? They're all fun. I tell you, when you come to Paradise Cove, you catch smallmouth, musky, walleye, like that nice walleye Jeff got, and some largies. There's always a spot to fish, and that's the key. Look at Leo's got one now. It never, uh, never ends. Oh, a little largy. What is that swirling up there, guys? Fish? Yep. Right on. Not a boy. Good one? Well, yeah, I haven't looking. seen him yet. Looks like a good one. <laughs> Rugs buckle pretty good. Yeah? He hasn't come That's up yet. That's a nice yet. fish, dude. Oh, it's another musky, dude. It's another lunge. Oh, oh you know I got to come to the back there, guys. Get, get back here. Next time we're bringing the net. <laughs> oh, it's a giant, dude. You might need it's your okay. musky net. <laughs> He's on one hook. <laughs> Another musky? What is with you and the musky? I don't know, but look at it. Oh, he's on, he's on the last hook. You got him, dude. Come on, Ragged. <laughs> Back at your resort, we forgot our musky net. Here, I'll take the net. Okay, okay. Leo, you ready? So, uh, let me get this straight. Ragged puts us on the fish. Ragged gives us a net. <laughs> Ragged brings our lunch. Okay, Leo, you ready? How about Leo land this? <laughs> okay. You ready, buddy? Yeah, I'm ready, dude. Oh, no, no. See, that's what I didn't want. <laughs> He's right there. Put, turn his head. Turn his head. I got it. Nice, buddy. Very nice. That's what you want. Those are the nests. Now, we'll just keep him in here for a second. Nice fish, dude. What is this? Musky day? Man! We're actually fishing for smallmouth right now. We're doing these little cut bays that Reagan said, uh, you know, if they're here, they're here. Well. Now I know why the smallmouth are not here, but it could be that they're here and these guys are chomping in all of them. Easy, buddy. Easy. You're going to get it in my fingers yet. There you go, bud. Nice. Good job. Woo! Let me get it out of the way. Well, that is on a Suffolk fluorocarbon leader. Yeah. Just in the corner of the mouth, this guy came up. <laughs> Good job, bud. Get back in the water. Nice. 
All right. You definitely want to take your time here. You know, they take fish preservation really serious here. One of the things that Reagan prides himself on is that catch him today, release him today, catch him again tomorrow. Let's see. That's the model here at Paradise Cove, and this is what we're trying to make sure that this guy gets back in the water so we can catch him again tomorrow. There we go. I think he's good to go. Yep. Beautiful. That's what I love to see, watching them swim away like that. Whew. I got to tell you guys, there's a reason why they call this Paradise Cove three cabins. So you come here, you got a piece of your own paradise right here. Hey guys. Absolutely. Beauty, man. Beautiful spot. Great fishing. Great host. Yeah, it's great having you guys. He's not yeah. a bad fish. Uh, yeah, you know what, I gotta tell you, we, we've been with a lot of, yeah, we've been with a lot of guides, and I'll tell you, we, we made a joke earlier in the show where, you know what, he showed up, he, he gave us a net, put us on the fish, gave us our food, but all, all kidding aside, guys, he really knows his stuff here. When you come here, you gotta hook up with Reagan, he knows every inch of this water, it's been a fantastic day. Absolutely. Ontario's got it all here, boys. That it does. Absolutely. Until next week, guys, I'm Leo Sacos. I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. And Reagan, thanks so much, buddy. Boys, thanks for we'll coming. See, really, we'll, really appreciate it. We'll guys. be back yeah. again, man, for sure. Right, man. Absolutely. Thanks, pal. Good stuff. We'll see you next time right here on Fish TV. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. And Mercury. Go boldly.